Making elite reels right here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Teller Robbie here needs to get it fresh, but in Buckeye, that's pretty much pretty much like Baghdad, Iraq. So, uh, no chance with the dust. It's just not gonna win that. So we'll get it going. My buddy Corey, he was our our crew chief, my best friend out in Washington. He had a real bad battle with cancer um, in 2019 and passed away. Which ironically, my dad passed away with brain cancer. And um, so there's a lot of a lot of heart that goes along with this boat every time we go out. Got, got guys watching out for me from above. Yeah. Super fun. It's the best investment you'll make. You'll have no money, but you'll have lots of smiles per gallon. <laughs> smiles per gallon. One of four feather lights weighed, it weighed 382 pounds when it came out of the mold. And um, we added glass to it so that we could, uh, or for the blower motor, I didn't, Bill Shrunk did when he owned it. He was the second owner. I'm the third owner. But my dad drove it for uh, Dennis Seidel. And then um, there's a few people. So Larry Pito drove it a few times. Um, David Booth, David Sharp. But uh, originally it was built for my dad to drive after he drove uh, Black and Cold, which was the other 140 boat um, that the Seidel's owned. And then they built this to start racing pro stock and uh, I'm blowing gas flat. So that was in 81. So the second half of the 81 season, this boat came into existence and started. They won their very first race in River Racer Flat at Ski Land in 81. This is all the original rigging from it too. Um, obviously, besides a few things that we've added for the wing and stuff, but the original, it's all original rigging from 81. Um, funny old stuff like the spark plug holders. And we, that we was changed, the way they did it yeah, back in the day. Yep, yeah, so we changed like the strut racing and stuff like that just with the blower motors and stuff. There's too much torque. Yeah. Just different game, right? So, um, we changed the fuel tank up and stuff. So they had a gunnel tank on this side originally. And then they did go to like a small three gallon um, T tank up, up front in 86 when they had the Rodak in it. And uh, that was kind of a wild thing but for this i i wanted to throw it back to the original like all the the gassers and the alcohol almost the alcohol guys were running the, the tank up front sonny jones those guys guys that i admired so, yeah this right here is the original canopy from 1981 so we brought it out stunk like poop soaked it in for breeze and been running ever since so i have some shade and it's been awesome today in the heat have a little shade bring shade back that's right Bring shade back. Start that. Yep. She didn't like when I brought the mills up. <laughs> I it was stupid. It was my fault. But uh, so no, I, it was doing. It was perfect. But I thought I was like, I'm gonna touch the up pedal just for fun. Shouldn't do that. <laughs> that was the first time. <laughs> yeah. But the last run, yeah, just flew nose perfect. Laid it down. Money. Well, I'm just working. You'll never know if you don't try. Yep. As soon as it started to come up a little bit, I was like, yeah, I'm just getting out of it. I was like, there's no more of that happening. So, super fun, though. It's totally different from the short. Yeah, actually, like, <laughs> when I watched the video of it, it actually didn't look that bad, right? It was just, you can start to see the nose climb a little bit. And once it starts to climb, we all know how that ends, right? But it didn't hop at all, so that's good. When in doubt, pull it out. After a win, push it in. Say hello. Again. More it's on a show. It can't be bought. Well, it can't. The, 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 bro. Got it. I look real good today. I look real good today. I look real good today. Yeah.
Caleb just says, Caleb, Jim! Cause love 